Miguel's decomposing remains. Oh, that's sad. He knows. All right, guys, welcome to Fallout 76. I am not Sam, and today we are going to be investigating the Responder Miguel's campsite. Which I don't think this is, because I don't think I'm close enough, so this is going to be gameplay footage of whatever this place is. Blast radius board game. <laughs> Take the old cop outfit. All right, let's check this one out first. Okay, why don't some of mine play? Like, am I, am I not ready to play those yet or something? Because that's not... There we go. Today, okay. December 25th, 2092. Once in the world before the war, this would have been a joyous time to celebrate with loved ones. Now it's a time to reflect and to mourn. It was on this day 10 years ago that we lost so much in the tragic event we call the Christmas Flood. I'm making this recording in the hopes of ensuring the flood and its victims are never forgotten. I suppose the story really begins in November of 2077, the month after the war. Survivors from the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort sent a group to Charleston to ask for help and supplies. The city leaders turned them away. There was so much chaos and so much need back then, I suppose it was an impossible request to grant. The failure to secure help led to a change in leadership for the survivors at the ski resort. A cold and brutal man named David Thorpe took charge. He shaped those people into something terrible. They took what they wanted by force and killed anyone that stood in their way. Years later, Thorpe's girlfriend, Rosalind, led a raid on Charleston. They were spotted early and a fight broke out. A few of them escaped, but Rosalind was injured and taken prisoner along with some of the other raiders. By then, the responders were more or less running things in the city. We were doing pretty well for ourselves. We felt confident we could confront the raiders on their home turf, so we sent a group up into the mountains to see if we could make a deal. We hoped we could get them to leave us alone if we agreed to release some of their prisoners. We were wrong. Thorpe somehow got his hands on a mini nuke. He used it to blow the Summersville Dam on Christmas morning. We lost almost everything. Our homes, our supplies, and it. Most of our family and friends. The days and weeks that followed were the hardest of my life. But somehow, we held together. We kept the idea of the responders alive, even though there were only a handful of us left. That's the story of the Christmas flood. Hmm. Tell your children. Tell everyone you meet. Let's keep the memory alive for as long as we can. All right, if I ever meet you, I'm going to tell you about the Christmas flood. So you better hope you never meet me. Okay, how do I get up there? Ha <laughs> I got it. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can go find Chavez. All right, come on, find the right button. Almost there. All right, should be... 
Right here somewhere. On the right side. One day they'll rebuild this good world. And I'll be here to see it. Ah, 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 ah. I can't see it. I don't have eyes. Is that Miguel? Oh, that's Miguel. Who's this? Oh, somebody set up here. Yep, yeah, because this is Chavez. Investigate. Okay, where are we at? Personal matters, viewer, attentive plans. Talk to... I think we did it. So I know somebody was here a few minutes ago. Um, another player, so they must have cleared out everybody. So let's go ahead and... Just so odd to see humans again. Well, the non-rotten kind. There we go. Anyway. Miguel has some camp schematics on his terminal in the air. And camp program rotate. Find them and return here. Camping wasn't always for everyone, but <laughs> Now that everything is destroyed, it's quite literally now for everyone living the dream. Right, Miguel? It's not enough that I am tethered to an invisible point forever, but the nickname so uncouth. None of the other volunteer bots had idiotic names. Oh, I like your name, Mr. Fluffy. Okay, so I think he gave me something, but in the in the shooting, I don't know if I actually got anything. So I'll have to uh, leave a description below um, for any details that happened during the gunfight there. <laughs> so, but I think I got some plans. I'm not sure. I, I don't. Oh, right here, maybe. Miguel used to be laid back, but he says he's just intense. It never gets old. Unlike Miguel's decomposing <laughs> remains. Oh, that's sad. He knows that he's dead. That's so sad. That poor, that poor bot. Poor Mr. Fluffy. Mr. Fluffy Pants. Well, I guess his pants aren't fluffy. <laughs> but I think that is... Yeah, so it's gone. So we will go back. Oh, look at this. Search Miguel's terminal for camp schematics. I will meet you there. Okay, and we are getting really close here. Oh, he's got a cool terminal. Nice. We got schematics downloaded. And it's tentative plans. Give holotape to Miguel's protect protectoron. So I will see you back at the protectoron. Oh, nice. Hello, world. That is a code... That's code right there. Like, like I studied code and that was what they started with every time is hello world. But anyway, I don't, I, I don't sound like I know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to stop talking and I'll see you back up at the uh, protector on. Why didn't All right, here we go. Miguel used to be laid back, but these days he's just. Okay. We're still looking at tentative plan up there. And Get build a generator forward. at your camp. Like Miguel's decomposing remains. Go over to that nearby clearing and set up your camp. Maybe at a good fire.
All right, let's see if we can craft a generator. Oh, somebody's still down there. <laughs> All right. Generator craft. All right. Quest complete. Tentative plans is done. Excellent. Whoa, whoa, come on. All right, look at all that. Nice, nice. Silver lining plus endurance. So I think that's it for tentative plans. We'll see if it goes away. Yep. All right, so we will find something else to do, and I'll be back. So, might have been a long video, not sure. Thanks for watching.